Hey guys, World Playground here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get uh, PSP WXP, which is PSP Windows XP, onto your PSP. Very simple process, and I'm going to go ahead and start with the review, or the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do so. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to rate 5 star, and you should be seeing a link right now to a link to giveaway. I'm going to be giving away an account called App Store Viewer, and I'm going to be doing the draw March 25th. And um, so go ahead and uh, subscribe and leave a comment on that video if you're uh, you're interested. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys. So I'm um, just go ahead and go to my description, and um, it will give you a link to a website like Save File One Two Five Six something like that. And um, that's where you need to download the uh, PSP Windows XP. Oh, sorry, I just was getting a background there a second ago. That's what the little screen there is. I have it bookmarked. Alright, now this is the save file website, and as you can see, it says PSP Windows XP version 3.8. Now you see in big orange little box there, it says download. Go and click download, and it will um, it will start downloading. Um, for me, I have like a whole bunch of firewall protecting stuff on my computer, so a little bar shows up at the top there, you'll see in a second. Yeah, that's just for safety, so it doesn't pop up without my permission. Go ahead and click download file pop up in a second alright now click save like you could click open but I recommend go to save so you can choose where you're gonna save the file to I always recommend your desktop because it's the easiest to find so go ahead and click save to your desktop and uh, seeing as I've already done that I'm just gonna exit out now it will show up here on your desktop um, as you can see here I'm dragging it out um, go ahead and right click on it to extract files. If you do not see that feature, go ahead and download WinRAR. That will allow you to extract the files. Go ahead and press OK. Oh, oh, because I've actually already extracted the file, it's over there to my left on my desktop. I'm having a little bit of problems. So I'm just going to click Yes to All, and it's going to recopy it. And now I got the exact same folder. I'm going to drag that over. That should that folder should be PSP Windows XP. Now the folder that I just opened is the extracted folder. Um, so just go ahead and open that up. And now you'll see PSP Windows XP. Go and click on that. Don't copy. Go just click left click. Now you'll see PSP Windows Vista. Just click on it again. And now you'll see read this. This is just a quick uh, little description on how to get it working and all this funky stuff. Um, but what you'll need to do is you'll go to the file above it, which is PSP Windows XP. Go ahead and copy that file. All right, it should be about the third one in. You've got to click on about three things before you get to that file. All right. So now that you've copied it, go ahead and make your way over to your PSP. This is when you need to um, go ahead and plug it in to USB mode, so uh, your computer recognizes it. It shouldn't be that hard. So. Um, now that it's connected, I just go to open files and folders. All right. Now, actually, you can see right there I already have it, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. I'm just going to delete it just to show you guys how to work and everything. <sighs> go faster. Oops, it's almost done. Seems to keep going back on me, though. A little bit quicker. Sorry about the wait. All right, now that it's gone, um, uh, normally what you do to download things is you click on PSP and then you put in like your common or game folder, but that's not the case here. You just go to your regular, uh, you go to the part where you have all of the files for the PSP, and you just right click on an open spot and click paste. So you're downloading the file to like the PSP's main folders. You're not putting it into another folder. It's its own. Um, now basically what that does is is it it has a program on the PSP that lets you use something like a add-on or a plug-in. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this load. I'm sorry it's taking a little while. My computer's running slow with this hyper cam running in the background. Always does. If you guys know any of any other programs that are like Hypercam that takes videos of your desktop, I'd love to hear from you guys to tell me what to, what I should get. Anyway, so now that you have it downloaded there on your PSP. Um, you can disconnect and now you can make your way over to the PSP itself. Alright, so now that you guys are done doing everything you need to do on the computer, 
and story took so long, but anyway. Um, when you're in USB connection, just go ahead and exit out of it. And um, make your way over all the way over to network and click on internet browser. Now you do need internet to be able to use Windows um, XP. Or well, well more like Vista. Now I already have the link that you'll need or the uh, thing you'll need to type in, the URL that you need to type in on history. So I'm just um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this into the description. So if you want to look at it now, you can go ahead and type it in, but I do recommend you going to my description to check out what you need to type in. You can go ahead and pause the video and then make your way over to that. Now, once it's in, just go ahead and click start, and it will load it up. And this is what it will look like, Microsoft Windows Vista. It takes a little while for it to actually load up, but it's just like regular Vista. It, it, you, you'll see in a second. I'll let it load up, and then I'll show you what the, the page looks like. It's very cool. It even has sound, which is really cool. Still loading. Like I said, it does take a while. It doesn't always. It doesn't have to do with your Wi-Fi. It's just it takes a long time to load up this program. And it will say, "Would you like to, you know, run a Java plugin?" Just go ahead and press X. Now, if you look at the bottom there, it says connect to wireless network. You can go ahead and navigate your analog stick or your mouse over to. Sorry, it's hard to do. Anyway, you go ahead and you make your way over to that, and then you exit out of it. I'm doing that right now. And um, once you've exited out of that, you can go ahead to your start menu in the bottom in the bottom left-hand corner there, and it will open up your sidebar. Your sidebar includes a variety of different things. You're able to go down to all programs, which I'll do right now. Oh, sorry, it's hard to work the analog stick. Now, once you go to all programs, another uh, bar pops up, and then you can pick through a whole buttload of stuff. All right, now I'll let the I'll let you guys explore this yourself. But this is a really neat um, little thing that you can put on your PSP. It makes life that much more fun. And you're able to use things like FrostWire and other things like that on the PSP and other um, applications that uh, work with Windows uh, XP. So um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to click the link for the link giveaway. I'm going to be giving away an account with over 20,000 views, um, over 150 subscribers, and over 100,000 people have actually, or over 1,000 people have actually visited my channel. So go ahead and check out the link giveaway. All you got to do is subscribe. So don't forget to subscribe. And you got to leave a comment on a video. But anyway, so thanks for watching. And um, please stay tuned for more videos that I'll be giving you.